Okay, Matthew McKellar back again. So we've got all this property with no water line ran to it, right? How do we get water all these animals? I used to carry it all. We're not gonna do that anymore, right? So here's our setup for it. So the creek, way across another fence, way into those trees, and then the pigs are right here. I got these pigs right here. Here are the pigs. And they're all the way on the other side of the property. So what do I do to get water to these little gems? We use this water tank right here. So this is our redneck setup. Uh, we'll show you all about it. But upscaling our pig operation this year, we went from three pigs to eight pigs this year. We had to come up with something a little different. So we've got the sheep, we got the pigs, we got the dogs. This is our redneck fix, semi-temporary, but it's not all that redneck. It's a little redneck. <laughs> so we got the creek down in the bottom. We'll show you all that in a minute. But in the meantime, I got this old Jeep. So a lot of people go buy a four-wheeler, it's ten thousand dollars. I got this puppy for like six K. Off-road and tires on it and everything. So I got this, been saving up for this. This is kind of our four-wheeler here on the farm, so to say. And then I got this guy, right? Big old water tank and an old rickety, rickety old trailer thing. that mom and dad gave me. I take it down to the creek, we'll pump it full of water, and then we just bring it back. And for the other side of the property, I've got these food grade buckets. See if you can see that. Kind of ugly, they look dirty, but they're clean on the inside. And we pump it full of water from the creek. Can you hold this? I'll show them the pump. So we got this sweet, sweet pump. I'm super stoked about. It's worked with for us really, really well. This trash water little WX10T four stroke Honda pump. Look at how tiny this little motor is. Look at how cute that is, guys. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. So, and I got it, I was like, man, there's no way this thing's gonna have a lot of power. This little thing gets it done. I love this thing. Starts up really easy, barely burns any gas at all, and it fills that tank up in like 15 minutes. Yeah, something like that. So, anyway, we'll see y'all back down with the water. We're filling up our buckets. We're filling up our tank. Here's our motor pumping. That's how we get water from here to over there. Not ideal long term, but for a season, not a bad fix, y'all. Not a bad fix for a season. It got us through this slaughter season with the pigs. We got two pigs left, and I think both of those are sold, and they'll be sold live, so not bad. Watch out. Don't get the camera wet. I said watch out. Look at the baby. Look at how pregnant she is. Well, how many weeks am I, Matthew? Oh, no. <laughs> 18. I have no idea. So it's today's Thursday. We find out the gender next Thursday. Next Thursday. You excited? Oh, yeah. I want to know what it is. We can't tell you guys after the appointment. All right. We're going to show you our livestock guardians today. It's how we keep our animals safe outside of the electric fence. Come check these babies out. This is Samson, sweetheart. one of our rescue studs, and he's a sweetheart. Yes, he is. You want to say hi? How are you doing? <laughs> Dog. Not this guy. Oh, don't do that. That's not a livestock guardian dog. Easy. <laughs> he doesn't like to click on the fence. Just ignore it. Here's the main this man. one. Just sand it. This is the bandit. This is the star of the show right here. Look at that head. Let's see how wide the jaws open. Look at them jaws. Oh, what is he doing? He can almost fit your head in his mouth. He is not a fan of that. Look at the nice badger marks he's got left behind. Yeah, so pretty. He is. Pick up these. Savannah in Georgia. 
these were pops from last year's litter. Yeah, you gotta speak up on the thing here, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm behind the mic, so it's hard to... Yeah, this is Savannah in Georgia. This girl's skinny. Why are you acting like that? Huh? What's the matter? What's and the matter? Georgia doesn't have a de um, no, Georgia. demanding personality, which is beneficial when it comes to livestock guardians. Yeah. But she's a love bug. She Georgia. Loves attention. Georgia's real submissive. You can tell Savannah's definitely gonna be the alpha. And these two have been in training, so they're, ju face. they're just out a year old. These two have been in training. These two will eventually See, go. In the these two will probably, these two will end up at our farm um, helping, gar do. helping guard the sheep. So they've just been in training. They're here with the bucks. Yeah, we gotta show them the sheep. Learning how to guard. Been doing a good job. This one is always two. If you have them in, set in pairs, one will go out with the animals. So like, if the bucks are down in the bottom eating, she'll be down in the bottom laying down with them. And then she'll be up in the top overseeing the whole operation. It's real cool how they work. And then after yeah, a couple... That's why it's beneficial to have them in pairs. Yeah, and then after a couple hours, they'll switch and give the other one a break. Get that right. Do not sniff my nuts. Really? <laughs> Bandit. Hey, handsome. They're gonna love this. And we we gotta show you these. These guys are only here for another week. Go out into the big pan. Oh my word, they got some big since I saw them last. Look at these pups. Weeks. Look at these puppers, these dirty old puppers. This is the litter we had this year. Yeah. They're the same mom as Savannah, uh, Georgia. They're the same mom as Georgia. Here's Harley, here's Mama. And look at all these puppies. Yep. Oh, I don't know if I can get all this. Let me turn the thing around. Oh, the pups. Come here. <laughs> With the uh, dogs, one thing I love about the Pyrenees, we only breed every third heat cycle, so that means they get bred every other year. But what's nice is if you have a rotation, we sell these puppies, and not only is somebody getting nice livestock guardian dogs that are already familiar with goats and livestock and electric fencing, they've already got a little bit of experience under their belt and a little bit of training, but it also, the income... Goes right back into the farm, right? Yeah, I mean, it just... These puppies will pay for the vet bills for the next year. Make sure that everybody gets a checkup once a year, updates all their vaccinations. Get a dog that'll give back to you, mm -hmm. you know? So these dogs offer a lot of companionship, but they bring three things to the table. One puppies, two companionship, and three protection for the animals. These guys really give back in They're three different really ways. They're really cool. They are such a cool breed of dog. In three different ways. Let's get some puppy cam. Yeah, they came all to me while I was on the cam. <laughs> I was holding it. The poopers. Want to play around? Want to play around? The burly. Ouch! That one bit me. <laughs> Hi, Harley. <laughs> Go to Matthew. Here comes Harley. That's our livestock guardian dogs. Like I said, they give protection, that's number one. Companionship, number two. And then three, they pay for themselves, pay for their own vet bills and pay for a little bit of their dog food too by selling puppies you know, every other year. So every third heat cycle, that way the moms get plenty of time. To, they lose a lot of weight while they're nursing. It gives them a chance to put their weight back on, give their bodies a rest. They get a checkup every year. Once they start getting up there in age, we just retire them. And then they get to retire here on the farm and watch all the critters and live out the rest of their days doing what they do. Pretty good gig for the pups. Yeah, oh, pretty yeah. good gig for the dogs. So they got it made. Look at all this space, guys. So two acres of field? Mm, this is probably, I'd say total. Everything probably, yeah, probably two and a half. Two, yeah, something like that. Yeah. They got lots of space. So you might not be able to see this, but like I said, once we took the gate off, we have, some 
roadside netting. And they've, you can see they've messed with it a little bit. Hold it away from But over here, you can see it better. Let's go over here. We got the roadside netting. And then to train them on what the electric fence is, we put this poly braid right here and juiced it to the fence. So these guys have not 100% on it, but they're close. So by, by the time these guys are going to new homes, they're familiar with goats, other dogs, and then electric fencing. So a good head start on these guys' education, right? Ain't that a good head start? Ain't that a good head start? Oh. Oh. What is this? I'm gonna get your leg. Look at them paws. Check out the dew claws on these puppies. Oh yeah, that's the thing about the Pyrenees. Hold it. Yeah. Okay, Harley's in the way. Check these dew claws out. So they have thumb? something. So they've got two extra thumbs. On the back. On the back. And it's so they can brace themselves when they're fighting predators. And it gives them extra stability when they're up on their back hind quarters. And so typical common dog breeds actually don't have any dew claws on the back. Yeah, none at all. And these guys got two of them. Mama's got them too. Yep, she does. I'm gonna show them. It kind of makes them look almost closer to a dinosaur. It's really cool though. This is a long one. She's one of our tall ones. But a sweetheart. We also got new goat babies. Check these babies out. One day old, guys. One day. Oh, she had them yesterday. I didn't even know this. Oh my goodness. That's, this is Pepper. That's mom, the pep, uh, yeah, her name's Pepper. Look at this. Easy, mama. Easy, mama. No. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Woo. Pepper, you okay? Look, Look at these. Things. Look at these sweet little Listen goats. To that cute sound. Look at those ears. To get the go cam. This one's a dark one, but look at those eyes. That's another good thing about the Pyrenees. While the moms are birthing, the Pyrenees will come out here and eat all the afterbirth off the babies and help lick their nostrils out, get them clean, clean their backsides. Just kind of help mom out a little bit. All right, I'm going to give them back here. But I'm telling you, man, these Pyrenees are where it's at. They do wonders for the babies. And uh, if one of the babies gets lost or left down out in the field, they'll be standing over top of it, and we'll just they'll stand, they'll just stand there and guard it until somebody comes and gets it. Great dogs, just great dogs. Right. That's our Pyrenees video. Hope y'all liked it. <laughs>